how to pick a winner from a list of names, how to do a raffle in Excel, how to draw a name randomly. This is what we're going to see in today's video. Basically, from this list that I have here, I need to take, I need to bring back just one winner. To do it, we can use two functions. The first one, rand between function, and then second function that we can use is the VLOOKUP function. Let's start here. Basically, the first thing that we need to have is a list to pick a winner, for example. The list is the first step. And then, with the list done, as the first column, we can move this list to the second column, and the first column we can use a sequence, uh, starting from 1, and then 2, 3, 4, and so on, so on. So let me just click here in the column A, right-click, insert. Now in the column B, I have the names, and now in the column A, I'm going to have a sequence. You start from 1, or you can actually start from 0, but here I'm going to start with 1. 1, and then 2 in the this, in this second row, 3, 4, and so on, so on. I can select here these numbers that I have, click, hold, and drag it out to make sure the Excel can continue to do the sequence for me. Just to make it a little bit more pleasant to look at, let me click here in the first row, right click, insert, and then here I'm going to type it in, let's say, number. And uh, as the header of the second column, I'm going to type it in, name. So I can just click here in the column B, and in between the column B and C, I can double click to increase the size of the column B automatically, won't you? like this for example. Now we can move on here and use the range between function to give us a name from 1 up to 40 for example. Why can I use 1 up to 10? Because I have here 40 names. So this is why I need to use 1 up to 40 for example. Let's say here in any blank cell, I'm gonna equal sign rand between function, this function right here, double click to select, 1, 2. As the bottom value, I'm gonna input the number 1, comma, and as the top value, I'm going to input here 40. Close parentheses, enter. Now, every time you click in any blank cell, press enter, the number is going to be automatically updated for you. Or if you close the spreadsheet, open it again, the number is going to be changed too. Uh, or if you press the F9 key, for example, the number is going to be automatically changed for you, automatically updated. Now, we already know that the number 7 here is the winner. Christopher is the winner, for example. But Instead of need to check manually who is the winner, let's say uh, F9 again, okay, 14, I need to seek for the number 14, okay, it's here, uh, Nicholas, and so on and so on. I want to bring back as a result automatically the name of the person who was picked as the winner. To do it, we can use the VLOOKUP function to bring back as a result the name that is going to match with the number that we have here. Equal sign VLOOKUP function, double click to select, one, two, the lookup value here. It's going to be the number 14, for example. Click here, comma. The table array that I'm going to use is going to be either a range like this, or I can also select the entire column A and drag to column B, for example. Column A and column B, comma. Now the VLOOKUP function is asking me the column index number, and it's number 2, because as my first column here, I have the number itself, and my second column is the name. So the name is the thing that I want to bring back as a result. So this is why I'm going to input the number 2 as the column index number, as I want to bring back as result the column number 2. 2, comma, and I want here an exact match. I'll click here, 1, 2, close parentheses, and then I'm going to press enter, and we're done. Whenever now I press the F9 key or update the spreadsheet, as you guys can see, the number and uh, the name is going to be automatically changed for me. So this is how we can do a raffle in Excel. So this is how we can randomly pick a name as the winner. So this is how we can draw a name randomly here in Excel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below. And I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.